this is Avinash Sharma and in this session we will discuss the manifesto manifesto for the agile agile manifesto what is the agile manifesto basically it's a document which defines some rules and regulations and these rules and regulations we can say these are the values and principles indicated by the agile philosophy and these rules or principles can help team to do the any work in very very efficient way these rules can help the team how to manage the things in a very efficient way so we have the four type of values defined by the agile philosophy first of all individuals and interaction over process and tool second one working software over comprehensive documentation third one customer collaboration over the contract negotiation and the fourth one responding to change over following plan so we will discuss these value one by one in details the first value in agile manifesto individuals and interactions over process and tools it means agile philosophy focus on the individuals and interaction rather than process and tools the priority of the agile philosophy is the individuals and interaction it doesn't means process and tools are not important they are because tools are relevant for the our daily work and for example say development life cycle tools like jira tfs rally even the hardware tools but the problem is these tools cannot be changed or we can say it's not easy to make the change in those tools next one is the process process basically it's a sequence of steps to accomplish a task for example billing system so for generating the bills we can design a process and the process is more flexible than the tools a scrum master can train the team about the process that process might be the lightweight or so much flexible than according to requirements that team can change that process i mean like uh, adding some steps or removing some steps from that process the process we can check the process with this diagram in this diagram we have the flow how to recruit the people so first step we take the application and then at that step the process is using a tool for filtering out the application on the basis of the say uh, qualification experience or whatever it is in next step then after filtering the data then application are redirected to the recruiting team and then recruit team take the interview negotiate the salary and finally then submit the application to the assignment team but here on the right side you can see then the green color we have one more step that is the suggested is to be added before negotiating the salary the salary should be discussed with the finance team so now in the next diagram we can check this new step has been added now the process is before discussing the salary with the candidate the that salary should be discussed with the finance team on the basis of the feedback from the finance team then the sale should be finalized so this process is flexible so we can add or we can remove any steps from that process next time is the interaction according to the agile philosophy it doesn't matter that you have the very efficient tools if there is no communication between the team no interaction then those tools are the worthless or useless so the agile philosophy focus on the interaction between the team there should be a effective communication between the teams and this is the responsibility of the scrum master to manage this kind of communication the scrum master will decide how the communication should be between the teams and how to take the feedback from on the basis of their communication and how to change the how to make the system to make more adaptable and this is the responsibility of the scrum master 
to implement the feedback from the uh, team in the process. Individuals. Individuals are more flexible and adaptable than the tools and process because the individuals are used to using the these tools and they are not interested like using the latest tools or they are not interested in making the change in the process. So it is the role or it is the responsibility of the scrum manager to make the change in individuals by promoting a team first culture, making and learning opportunities value for the individuals, showing a broad selection of tools for people to choose them. What is the latest tool? What is the benefit of using this tool? So this kind of training can be given to the individuals. Second value from the Agile philosophy. Working software over comprehensive documentation. Under the Agile philosophy, the client should be encouraged to use the latest software rather than collecting the documents. And the communication from the client should be through a software rather than a document. So this is the philosophy from the Agile. Next value. Customer collaboration over contract negotiation. In the contract negotiation, it's important because that contract negotiation define the limits or boundary the services you offer to the client. But according to the agile philosophy, customer collaboration should be given to the priority. The collaboration should happen before the contract. And that communication should happen frequently and the feedback from the customer should be taken time to time and the feedback from the customer will reduce the risk involved in the project. The next one and the fourth one responding to change over following plan. It means according to the agile philosophy all the information should be collected about the status of the product time to time. The latest information about the tools or other technology should be collected and according to the requirement the change or tools should be implemented in the plan. Finally, agile values are not rules and they, these rules should not be followed strictly. These values are just possibilities or we can say interpretation so we can take the benefits or advantage of this value for improving the system or process. So guys, this was all about the Agile values from the Agile philosophy. For more video, please like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching the video.